there was a possibility that I was going to need to make 5,000 of these ornaments. That ended up not working out. But if it was going to work, then they needed to go on and off the lathe in 20 minutes or less. And so I'm presenting this video to you in kind of real time so you get an idea of how long it really takes. Um, but nobody wants to watch all the sanding. So that just gives us a chance to talk. Originally, I was trying to go straight from the bandsaw and put the square end into the chuck and not use the tailstock at all. That ended up not working out quite so well. Ooh. Mm, yeah, not so well. So I got the tailstock extension and another live center that I could modify to get more clearance for the router bit. And that worked okay for the shaping part but I couldn't use the tailstock during the spiral cutting part, and sometimes they would come loose in that step. Another problem I ran into was that I was doing the partial part at the bottom as the last step, and sometimes I would get a lot of chip out doing that, and it would just ruin the ornament. And that's a real gut punch to ruin the thing as this is the last step. So I reordered things, and I wanted to do the part first, and it just made sense at that point to turn them all between centers and make the base round, like I could get a better grip in the chuck. I kept using the tail sock extension anyway during the shaping part, though I wish I hadn't because that extension ended up damaging my tail stock and now it's really hard to move in and out. Uh, so that's not good. So I don't recommend those, at least on this size lathe. Doing the part first created a new problem, which is that when I'm cutting that spiral, when it gets to the end, if I've done the part first, then I've already removed material on one side of that cut, which tends to cause the bit to deflect at the end. Now that's fixable though, with a round file, and it doesn't take very long to do that. So that was better than potentially ruining some of the parts. Wow, I'm still sanding. Okay, well, um, there's lots of ways you can support the channel. Uh, you can like the video, you can leave a comment. That actually helps a lot. Uh, you could become a patron. You could go to my Etsy shop and buy an ornament. Am I done yet?